Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Well, today's gonna to be an exciting video because we're gonna talk about a piece of hardware that improved my workflow a lot, right? I've been looking for a solution like this for years and it's finally here. When you're a YouTuber and you hit a certain amount of viewers, you get a lot of companies asking you to review their products, right? And to be honest, I typically say no. Now, this time is going to be a huge exception because I have a number of criteria that I, you know, kind of check off before I say yes. And this one hits them all, right? It needs to fix a major problem. One. Done. It needs to be quality. This thing is top notch. The price quality ratio needs to be okay. And most important of all, it needs to be ease of use. I don't want to do a, you know, a six year study on something before I can use it, right? It needs to be easy peasy, and this is. So before we move any further and look at the product and what it does, let's talk about the problem that it fixes, okay? Now, I tried other products to fix this problem in the past, but it you know, it typically didn't work that great, right? I mean, there were good products, but it didn't fix the entire problem. Now, what is that problem? Well, if you're a digital artist and specifically a 3D artist, you will be sculpting using a pen display, right? Now, the thing with the pen display is as they get bigger, you're fighting for desk space, at least I am. And what I absolutely hate is to have both my hands on the pen display. I mean, you work on the pen display and then you get all sorts of shortcuts, right? Now, pen displays come with buttons that you can program. You can assign a certain function to it and that's okay. But I simply don't like have both my hands on the pen display because it kind of disrupts my flow, right? So what I've always been doing is I had my uh, keyboard on the side that I operated with my left hand because I'm right-handed, yeah? And I would do, you know, all the, the alt tabs and all that with my left hand. Problem is, because of the size of my pen display, it's kind of tucked to the side and at an angle and it's simply not right, okay? Now, I tried to use a 3D mouse in the past and actually I really liked using that and it worked great in Maya, right? The thing is though, and you know this as a 3D artist, you're not just working in Maya, you're jumping from Maya to, to Moto, to Houdini, to Photoshop to Substance Painter to ZBrush, and at least I am, I'm switching all the time, right? The big problem there is once you have programmed the buttons on one of these objects, you're stuck because as soon as you switch to another program, you're done. Now, this thing, however, is smart as beans, right? This thing will see, hey, you're switching to ZBrush. Now I need to change the, uh, the program or the protocol for the button. You switch back to Maya and it does it again and it shows you on screen. So let's check this out. I know you're gonna love it. All right guys, so what are we talking about anyway? Well, we're talking about the Toolbox Neo and that's this little device here. Now, the size is approximately the size of your hand, right? And as you can see, it has all sorts of scroll wheels and buttons and whatnot. Now, the cool thing here is, first of all, you can program each button so you can customize it. So uh, the button on the left is Alt-B, the, you know, the button on the top is uh, Shift-Alt, uh, whatever. Yeah, you get the idea. Now, uh, one thing I need to say is that this thing is built like a tank, right? The quality is absurdly high. And I didn't expect that. I thought, you know, for the price range, and I think it's something about somewhere around 180 bucks, I thought it would be lesser quality. It's, I don't know, it has kind of an, like an Apple iPhone feel to it. Really, really nice to the touch. And it's super heavy, so it's not gonna be sliding around on your desk, right? Now, here are a couple of examples where they traditionally would use it for Photoshop. You know, here's kind of a, a little preview here. So you can use it for digital painting in Photoshop. People use it in Lightroom when they're working on photography, but it turns out that it's perfect for 3D. 
A couple of examples here, you can see that a lot of people are using it. Here you got a good indication of what the size is. And um, I just have it on the left of my uh, pen display and it works great, yeah? You can also use it with just a mouse uh, as a combination. Um, yeah, that's all there's to it. Easy plug and play, you plug it into uh, a USB port. That's all you need to do, no separate power supply or nothing, yeah? And then once that's plugged in, you go and download the software. Now, if you go in here and here's the console, you choose the software based on your operating system. And then once, and I of course already did that, once you've done that, you open it up. Here we go. Okay, everybody. Well, here is the Toolbox console 2.2.5. And here's an overview of what's going on. We got the console down here. We have a list of uh, presets and uh, presets that I created myself. And here we have an overview of all the buttons that you can customize, yeah? So let's say I go into Maya right here. I have my presets, I didn't put in a lot just yet. I have my presets, uh, for example, this top button right here, for me, functions as control Z, yeah? And then this one is my attribute editor. And then you can go in and you can customize all of these. Now, like I said before, there are other products where you can do this, but the thing is this, whenever I jump from one program to the other, the presets switch automatically. And here it's set to auto switch, as you can see. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go up here and hit the plus button. Yeah, it's gonna ask for a name. What do we wanna create? Let's call it, uh, I don't know, Photoshop 2. Let's say I got two versions or whatever. Great, yeah? Okay, I wanna customize the preset. So we're gonna click and create. It's processing, there you go. And now it's added to the list, Photoshop 2. It says, however, hey, there's no link, right? So I'm gonna click on the link because I wanna link it to Photoshop. Now I already have Photoshop, so hopefully that's not gonna be a problem. But here you go, Photoshop. Let's click on okay, and there you go. So now I have a preset for Photoshop 2. Now let's say I want to customize a button, right? This guy right here, so that one. As soon as I actually click on it on the true box, it jumps to that setting right here. So let me do that again. I'm up here somewhere. Let me just push that button. Boom, there you go. So that's the one I want. Okay, now, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm gonna double click on that. I don't want a preset like Lightroom or so on, right? I want it to be custom. Now let's say I want this to be Alt B. So I go onto my uh, keyboard and I uh, hit Alt B. And as I do so, there you go, Alt and B. And then I click on OK. So now in my preset Photoshop 2, there is a button that's uh, configured to Alt B. That's all there's to it, okay? Now I'm gonna get rid of this guy. Delete, there you go. And I'll show you how easy this works and how fast it works, okay? Let's jump into Maya. Okay, as soon as I do that, you see current preset Maya 2020, uh, which tells me that Toolbox is working and my preset is loaded. So if I now go to my, um, let me just create something here. If I now go into my Toolbox console, and I push on that button that I programmed on the right, it should open my attribute editor. Let's do that. There you go. Now, the cool thing here is I don't need to take my right hand off my pen display and I can have my left hand rest on the table. My pen display is at an angle. I don't want to lift my hand. I don't want to move it around on the pen display while I'm working. Although there are a bunch of buttons that I can customize, I prefer to have kind of a, a mouse feel to it, if you know what I mean, yeah? Now let's jump from Maya to uh, another program and let's see how quickly it uh, loads uh, the proper preset. Here we go. Up here, current preset, ZBrush. That's all there's to it, guys. So it's really, really cool. Now, um, I'm gonna put a link uh, below uh, so you can find this thing. I think it's around 180 bucks. Um, I have to say, based on reviews that I did in the past, this is not good, it's not great, it's brilliant, right? I am super excited about this thing because it's uh, been a problem that has been bugging me for years. And finally, someone came up with a super easy, simple, 
and a well-working solution for it, okay? So that said, that's it for this video. Um, and uh, I got a very exciting video coming up on Wednesday, right? So make sure you do not miss that, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.